What a weekend. The Raiders tore up the Niners. The Patriots continued their reign of domination. There were so many displays of awesome, but there's always a top 10. Let's get to it. Welcome back to ATVN. The Trojans have returned to the rankings just in time for homecoming. After defeating Arizona last week, USC now stands at number 22 on the AP poll. Right. Yeah, they've been talking about it for, what, Goodness. six years, yes. getting us all hyped up and excited. And finally, May 2nd, MGM Grand, the ultimate place, Las Vegas. Do you think that this is going to be a good fight? Welcome to the Trojan Windup. I'm AJ Lawrence, and I'm going to give you the rundown on what went down during week nine of USC's baseball season. The Trojans and Cougars were back at it Saturday night on the Pac-12 network, and it was a matchup of two lefties. The Trojans sent up Kyle Toomey against Washington State's Joe Pistorizzi. The Trojans had never beaten the senior Pistorizzi in three previous starts, so they came into the game with their work cut out for them. Well, you know what? If you think he's worthwhile, I will let you have it on your radar. I'm going to go ahead and say A.J. Suarez of the New England Revolution, who pulled an amazing move during Sunday's MLS title match. This is A.J. Lawrence, and I'm here at the Unstoppable Foundation Gala, where we're celebrating global access to education and a future for all children in need. We've talked to some great people tonight, like Malcolm Jamal Warner, also Ernie Hudson, the incredible and unstoppable Warren Moon. Meanwhile, Flores was dominating, striking out Yamaguchi and Caruso in the third. He would give up a run in the fourth, though, and the game would go to the bottom of the fifth, tied at one. USC remains undefeated this season. It's not too bad for eight games in 10 days. The last time the Trojans started a season with a better record was back in 1988. We do want to go ahead and congratulate Ronda Rousey, the pride yes. of Riverside, the diva of the dojo. <laughs> this is the third time USC and Stanford had met this season, and Troy's looking for its first win against a contender. The semifinal match starts at 3.10 p.m. on Saturday at UC San Diego. How are you? I'm doing pretty good, good. and I understand you're receiving an award tonight. I am. I'm receiving the uh, Humanitarian Award, and uh, I'm very, uh, very honored by that. Well, congratulations. How long have you been involved with the Unstoppable Foundation? Well, I've been Thursday night football is kicked off in the Mile High City. We'll have updates here on the Broncos and the Chargers. And USC is coming off of a record-setting homecoming weekend, but are they ready to take on Utah? You'll hear from Coach Sarkeesian next. Because in his draft <laughs> class, Roethlisberger has a couple of rings. Manning has a couple of rings. Yeah. He was one of the big draft, uh, big uh, players going into that draft. He's got nothing. Well, he does have a bolo tie. Uh, that is Let's true. Give him <laughs> I stand bolo corrected. Tie. I stand Thank corrected. Thank you. And he, and he has a Come on, guys, things are exciting. They're crazy. They're off the chain right now because we have a signing of Tim Tebow. Philadelphia Eagles decided they would go ahead and continue to shake and things up. In the middle of the fight, you know, seeing Mayweather smile at Pacquiao, almost like they're exchanging these kind of greetings, like, yeah. hey, you gonna like your millions? I'm gonna like my millions. It just felt like they were really in it for maybe just the money, the fun, but they weren't in it to truly go to battle. Right. To close out our very first episode of On the Radar, we're bringing you in the know. Here are the top five things in the sports world that went under the radar last week, and you should know about them. You know, in the offseason, the Raiders have been doing a lot. They cut seven veterans mm -hmm. so far. And then now, you know, letting go of James Jones, who, as you said, was the 2014 leader in receptions for them. On Friday, the Trojans host Stanford for a three-game matchup. You can catch the Trojans battling the Cardinal on the Pac-12 network. Thanks for watching the Trojan Windup. I'm A.J. Lawrence, and you can catch us here every week. Fight on.